welcome back to Mega React. So today we're going to be watching Babylon 5 Season 2 Episode 8. Last episode we had Talia's ex-husband, a real creeper, trying to use his mind control powers to get her to come with him to have a bunch of psychic babies for Psychor. Twisted. We, we had Londo divorcing two of his three wives. He has gained such favor within the Centauri, the great Centauri Empire, that he has been granted the ability to forego two of his wives. A great honor. Of course, one of them tried to kill him with the help of Jakar. Well, no, Jakar didn't help. He just kind of found out what happened and got a good laugh out of it. But yeah, one of his wives, the young hot one, tried to murder him with some booby-trapped Centauri artifact. We had Delin and Ivanova having a girl's day. It was a fun episode, had some nice little moments, but let's just get into episode eight. But before we do, come on this journey with me. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega, let's get into it. Just one last item, which also affects the station budget. Okay. Since you've been running at a deficit for a while, and I thought you would have heard about it by now. They've decided that our quarters are larger than necessary. They want us to relocate to smaller quarters or start paying rent. Rent? Yes, sir. <laughs> 30 credits a week. Wow. Starting immediately. And this us would be... You and me, yes. Everyone else is pretty yes. much Oh, yeah? Well, you can tell Earth Central they can take a flight. It's only 30 credits a week, sir. It's not that much. I don't care if it's one credit a week. I don't care if it's one credit a month. It's the principle of the thing. I mean, we were on call 24 hours a day, seven days a week, busting our butts for Earth, and now they want to charge us for an extra five square feet? Seven feet. <laughs> Whatever. I, I'll go living down below before I'll pay him a penny. And you can tell those bean counters that they can go to hell. <laughs> He's serious. And it was starting out to be such a nice, quiet little day. The principle. The principle. Does anyone else want or have a Babylon 5 uniform? But I kind of want one after seeing how they look. With... This is unnecessary. Oh! You know, is this? You is... Just give us the information What's his name again? Stop this. Beecher? Wrong, 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 wrong. Wrong, 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 wrong. Blame you. I call him Chekhov. The they used you and then abandoned you. You were raised by the core, clothed by the core. We are your father and your God. mother. It's a damn true believer. They force us to do this. We know there's an underground railroad helping unregistered telepaths we know you gave them access to our files who was your contact who's running the operation um, this was white as snow. oh you're getting in there get in that mind oh oh you killed him what did you do He's, He's dead. dead. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I got it. I caught it. Just before he died. Babylon 5. Oh, we're good. <laughs> You're not well liked there. Babylon at least, at least Sinclair's gone. Because if he was there, I don't think you'd step foot on the station. May I speak with you for a moment? Privately. Of course. I was wondering if you could help me. This is difficult. If you could help me better understand what it is to be human. She's going to ask him for sex. Though I now look more like you, I'm not one of you. And if I am to be a bridge of understanding between humans and Minbari... <laughs> he looks, he looks uncomfortable. <laughs> what would you suggest? Dinner. Dinner? Dinner. In all my time here, I have rarely sat and just talked with you or with any other human. And I think that I would like to. That's, who's that's not, most that's not too others. bad. Yeah. Just talk. He was thinking what I was thinking. That's why he had that face. <laughs> um, I'll set it up and get back to you. All right, what is she going to ask me to okay? do? One day they're shooting at you, the next day they're taking you out to dinner. <laughs> what a universe. 
Uh, indeed. A Psycor representative requests an immediate appointment. Oh the no. Master. Roger that. The ground railroad, smuggling unregistered telepaths away from Earth to the outer colonies where the core can't reach them. Well, so far I don't see a problem. We believe the Underground Railroad is operating through Babylon 5. It must be closed down. All right, give him whatever help he needs, but keep an eye on him. By the way, Captain, I suggest you check the files on Mr. Bester. We had a few problems with him last year involving a rogue telepath named Ironheart. You might want to find out a little bit more about who you're dealing with. Yes, Ironheart might be in your... I think they'll do as we ask. In your collection. You seem awfully confident. He's here, all right. I saw him. Did he sense you? Hey, it's Jimi Hendrix. I don't. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> That's Look, an inside we, we joke. We know this is gonna happen sooner or later. Oh my goodness! Look, look at you. Something I can do for you? Yeah. What you looking at? Gawking at my date. So, what can I do for you? I need a contact inside the Underground Railroad. Great. Good hunting to you. So what have I got to do with it? Come on, Obama, this is me. Yes, it is. And you're so cute when you're worried about investigating someone close to you. <laughs> this time you're dead wrong. Look, Michael, there's no love lost between me and the Psychor, but I've got nothing to do with this. <laughs> you look like you just swallowed a bug. An operation like this couldn't work without support from someone inside the station. Me? I'm gonna go back to my quarters and get some sleep. That's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. I gotta After kick you out. Debris, <laughs> I, I have to kick you out. <laughs> we do not have cats, I mean, but we have gawks. Gawks? Gawks! Huh. <laughs> I think such creatures are an attempt by the universe to make sure that we never take ourselves too seriously. <sighs> you know what's funny? When I think of Mimbari, I don't generally think of them laughing. Is that part of the change you've gone through, or...? We believe that no race can be truly intelligent without laughter. It would appear that we have much more in common than we imagine. Yes, because they're reborn Mim Mimbari. Ironheart. Can you move things with your mind? Is Jason Ironheart. Can we touch on that again? Telekinesis? I give you a gift. Yes. The only gift. The only gift. I have to give. I have to give. Here we go. Move that penny. Come on. Come on. You ain't. Yeah. Have you not been practicing? Oh. Damn. <laughs> Denied. Denied. <laughs> They've been sealed. What? Direct orders from Earth Central. Your quarters and mine have been sealed until we either move to smaller quarters or begin paying rent on the bigger ones. <sighs> Gotta take a hard line with these people, Susan. Can't show a moment's weakness. <sighs> yes, sir. <sighs> you're growing on me, Sheridan. You're you're stinking growing on so me, dude. You're growing on me. Obviously, things back home have been a little tense. It makes me happy. It makes me happy. If you could keep an eye on things for us, we'd... Almost ready. In position. Assassination attempt. He's made it. Made it. Made it. Get down! Smart. You ain't sneaking up on Bester. Sneak up on Bester. You out of your mind. Shit. I'm gonna kidnap her, though. What she does or doesn't know, she could be dead right now. Garibaldi! You should have told her she was missing as soon as you called in. If you're this worried, Mr. Garibaldi, I suggest you double your efforts to find these people. You've got two bodies to start with. Make the best of them. Oh, that little wink. What a pompous ass. I love him. <laughs> I like you, Bester. Oh, 
All right, they look kind of freaky. God, why do they all look so creepy, man? You ain't gotta be creepy looking to work in the Underground Railroad. <laughs> you could look normal. Just heard from the people running the Underground Railroad. They've got Talia. No, 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 she's okay. They haven't heard her and they don't intend to. They want to arrange a meeting between you and the head of the operation. Just you, nobody else. And if anyone else shows, the meeting's off. And if I don't come, what happens to Talia? Nothing. No, this isn't a hostage situation, Captain. The situation is spinning out of control. They're, they're trapped. They're trying to find a way out. How is it not a hostage hurt. situation? They I took can... a hostage. Yes. Why? I can't tell you right now. I guess you're just going to have to trust me. Are you the inside man? All right. When this is not a hostage situation, that's Captain. That's how they found my brother before they found me. They said he could either join the Corps... We only drugged a woman and took her. ...or take the sleeper. As soon as I could walk, I escaped from the hospital. Never saw my baby again. Yeah, the side Corps is evil, man. I think everyone knows it. Them in the Corps served a function a long time ago. Now it's something else. I know it. You know it. Yes. You can't let it go on this way. Is he the leader? I thought the message said for me to come alone. Is he? It did. Well, don't you think your presence might scare off the guy who's running this operation? No, not really, considering I am the guy running this operation. You I drugged and kidnapped Talia. Good explanation for this doctor. I think he does, Captain. I mean, she's not a... I think you should listen I don't know. I think you should listen to all of them. Everyone knows. Like, I don't get it. Everyone knows Psychor. It's corrupt pieces of trash. Look. In principle, I agree with what you're doing. Yes, yes. A hundred percent. And whether I like them or not, I'm a soldier. I am honor bound to obey the law. And as a doctor, I'm honor bound to help these people. So what am I supposed to do now? If I turn you in and right now, I'm more than a little tempted. I just put this gun behind my back. <laughs> the psychics will never know. <laughs> I remember you and I remember you. That's why I started all this. You want to keep us frightened and isolated, not just from normals, but from each other. That's the real reason we wear gloves, isn't it? To keep us apart. But what happens when the gloves come off? Don't Combine each other's minds. Force me to... Yes, with our powers combined. Ooh. I was full. Kill them all. You're killing them all. That couldn't have been the plan, could it? Or are they giving him a illusion, a fake memory? I'd have preferred to take a few alive, but better to set an example. You had me going for a moment there. The core is mother. The core is father. I know where my loyalties <laughs> lie. Ah, wow. I'm going back up now. Security will be here within 20 minutes. I didn't want them asking these people any questions, and I don't want to answer any myself. Memory implant. That's all I can think of. I don't suppose anyone would like to tell me what just happened. Called it. He saw what we wanted him to see. An illusion? A telepathic projection. I thought psychops were too strong for that sort of thing. Individually, yes. Any one of us alone never could have done it. But together, we were able to burrow past his defenses. Now, as far as Bester is concerned, the Underground Railroad is dead, along with its leader. Well, if there's nothing illegal going on here anymore, and Mr. Bester drops his request, who am I to argue? Thanks. Thank me yet. And get one thing straight. 
anything like this ever happens again, I will personally turn you in and let them hang you out to dry. Understood? So you don't think that what I did was right? I didn't say that. Well, what are you saying? I'm not saying what I'm saying. I'm not saying what I'm thinking. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I'm not thinking what I'm thinking. There's only one thing on my mind right now. What's that? I need a drink. And a place to stay. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> I have a cop. I managed to forget about that. You're more than you think you are. Then what am I? The future. The future. Ah, <laughs> I knew it! Oh, I'm so excited when I get things right. I'd like to note two things. It's so rare in this show. Yes, Commander. I get things I'm right. One. I'm deducting 60 credits per week from the budget set aside to maintain combat readiness and applying it against the rent. On what grounds? On the grounds that I'm not ready to fight anybody until I've had a decent night's sleep in my own damn bed. <laughs> you got a problem with that? No. <laughs> no, sir. I rather like the idea of Earth Central paying rent to itself. It has a certain symmetry. That is government. That is government. Yeah, right there. I think I'll go to my quarters. <laughs> ah. Wonderful idea. Dismiss, Commander. Fantastic. I bring Okay, Dennis. okay. Swinders is late. I know. Ah, uh, that's perfectly fine. I'm sorry. Fantasy time. <laughs> I just wanted to say that you were right and I was wrong. <gasps> Take it off. Setting down a symbol of what you were. Let's drink some wine. Have some have some fun. Oh, I'll be right back with you. That was Babylon 5, Season 2, Episode 8. That was a fantastic episode. Bester is a really good bad guy. He's the best. <laughs> Bester, best. Took me a minute to get his name, but I eventually got it. I was kind of close. He's fantastic, though, as a bad guy. Just psychor through and through. He believes the shit he is saying. He is deep in it. I mean, he's probably got his fingers in a lot of pies. But, you know, he's on Babylon 5 looking for the Underground Railroad for psychics. Don't really know why in the future it's still called an Underground Railroad. Seems a little dated. Maybe a Underground uh, Space Paths or something. I don't know. Maybe it's just for the history's sake, you know, tying back to, to American history. But at the same time, I don't know if Earth Core, Earth, Earth Alliance, I mean, it's the whole planet, not just US history. So would it still, I'm, I'm overthinking it. I'm overthinking it. It's, it was meant as a good callback and it really does emphasize what the doctor is doing with its group, which is smuggling people out very, very much like was done in the South. So I'm overthinking it. It's perfectly fine. I just thought it would have been an updated term, but it makes sense why they did it. Overthinking, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I get caught up in the littlest of details sometimes and it just makes me think. But yeah, so that was a great little plot there with you know the, the people who are not wanting to join Psychor and don't want to get doped up are just trying to get away, you know, to the outer core, the outer rim, the outer planets, just get a away from Psychor because they're evil. And I knew they were evil from the get go. I didn't know how evil they were. I mean, they're basically, I mean, if we believe what we were told and I do believe it, you know, they're murdering people, obviously the, uh, the, basically putting people under and impregnating them and taking their babies. That is crazy. Like, wow. Wow. Psychor is doing what they got to do, right? Like they're trying to make super psychics, which they actually did with Ironheart, though they will never recreate it. But it was fantastic. And then we have Talia getting kind of drawn into the underground. She was drugged and kidnapped. Now, she might have joined their side at the end, but she was drugged and kidnapped. After the fact, she was fine with it, I guess, but Doc, that's a little hardcore, man. You could have just talked to her. It probably would have been okay. You could have brought her down there. Didn't have to drug her and kidnap her. And you're lucky she didn't get shot. And technically, technically, the doctor okayed them trying to murder a member of Psychor. He said he's all about protecting life, but he's willing to kill people. But once again, they do have the moral high ground 
they're just trying to live their lives where Psychor is trying to impregnate, imprison, and indoctrinate all these people. So he has the moral high ground. I'll let it pass. But it just shows that this doctor, this doctor kind of crazy. <laughs> and I don't mean that in like a loony way, just wow. He hits on women who were in cryogenic sleep for years. He uh, tries to ask out the daughter of the old lady using the alien tech after insulting the mom. Uh, he's the head of an underground railroad who's trying to assassinate people. Like, he has a lot of time on his hands, doesn't he? He has a lot of time on his hands. But, but I do like how that whole scenario ended with them joining hands and using their power together to make Bester see what they wanted. Now, I will admit at first, for probably one and a half seconds, I thought she was really on Psycor's side and they were just ganking everybody, but it, it was only about a second and a half. Because then I remembered they had an idea, they had a plan. The plan couldn't have been for them all to die. So it just made sense with their amplified power, they would be able to project a memory, a thought, a vision. And that's what they did. And that's great. So now the uh, railroad can keep doing what they do. Psychor won't be on their tail and everything will work out. Uh, we're really getting quite a bit of Talia episodes. Like This is like two in a row and there was one earlier in season two, I think, that focused heavily on her because she is the future. And I'm glad we touched on her using her telekinesis some because I've been waiting since Ironheart gave her the gift. I want to see you move some stuff. I want you to pull a carry, go crazy. She didn't shove a penny through like a marble wall, which is impressive. So yeah, so her powers are just going to grow. Hopefully she is the future. Got to see exactly what that means. And then we get to Sheridan. Sheridan. This might be the first episode that I never once thought while watching in my head about Sinclair and how would Sinclair act during this. Like, I think I brought Sinclair up in the episode when it came to Bester, but usually when I'm watching the show, I'll see Sheridan do something and in the back of my mind, I'm thinking of Sinclair. I usually don't even say anything. This episode, it never happened. I'm finally seeing Sheridan as the captain he is, the character he is. He's likable, he's friendly, he, he acts really different than Sinclair. And I really think I like it. I really think I like it. So that is fantastic. It's fantastic that we're not even halfway through season two and Sheridan is feeling like a true part of the team in my mind, in my eyes. He is, I think he's gonna be all right. I think it's gonna be all right. <laughs> and the fact that he uh, is ripping Earth Alliance off their own money to pay rent to themselves is genius. Anyone who's worked with the government at all, you know, it's no surprise the, the amount of incompetence that is done. So that really kind of hit home for me and uh, it was fantastic. It was a fantastic episode. I have nothing bad to say, honestly. Uh, this is one of the, so far, this is one of the top episodes of season two. I don't really have a ranking or anything because I'm not done with the season, but this was a fantastic episode. Hopefully you agree. If you do, please continue to come on the journey with me. If you don't, continue to come on the journey with me. <laughs> like, comment, share, subscribe, Patreon link in the description below. This is Mega signing off.